Okay, in this video we're talking about is the triangle an isosceles right triangle given the vertices 2 comma 2, negative 1, negative 2, and 3, negative 5. <clears throat> so how can we tell whether this is going to be an isosceles right triangle or not? Well, I sketched it out just to kind of get a rough idea about what this looks like. And so you can see we've got a triangle something like this. And I just labeled the vertices M, A, and R. So we know an isosceles triangle, at least two of the sides are congruent. And we know a right triangle, we know it has a 90 degree angle. And we also know that if it's a right triangle, that it will satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, meaning a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So let's keep that in mind. So we're trying to figure out, are two of the sides congruent? That makes it isosceles. And does it satisfy the Pythagorean theorem? That makes it a right triangle. So in order to do this, we're going to have to use the distance formula. And you might remember from a previous class, the distance formula is this guy right here. It's the difference in the x-coordinates squared plus the difference in the y-coordinates squared. And then you take the square root, and that's going to give you the distance between you know, two points on our graph. So let's go ahead and start off by finding the distance from m to a. So I'm just going to call that m a, and it's the square root of... 2 minus negative 1 squared plus 2 minus negative 2 squared. And let's see what this comes out to. So when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. So we have 3 squared, which is 9, and 4 squared, which is 16. And this is 25. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. Okay, so that's the length of MA right here. So let's just try to sketch this in uh, roughly something, something like this. And we say this is 5. Okay, now let's do uh, AR right here. So AR, same thing, distance formula, the square root of 3 minus negative 1 squared and negative 5 minus negative 2 squared, add those together, take the square root. So this comes out to 4 squared, which is 16, uh, negative 3 squared, which is 9. So again, you can see we have the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So that tells us that this is indeed isosceles because we have these two sides uh, congruent. And what about this third side here, uh, MR? Let's go ahead and find that length. So again, the square root of 3 minus 2 squared, just subtracting the x-coordinates and squaring, and negative 5 minus 2 squared, so that's 1 squared, which is 1, negative 7 squared, which is 49, and that comes out to the square root of 50. Now we can simplify that, but for right now, let's just leave it as a square root of 50. What we're asking ourselves is, does this satisfy the Pythagorean theorem? Is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. Well, let's double check. So we've got 5 squared plus 5 squared question mark. Does that equal the square root of 50 squared? 5 squared is 25 plus 5 squared is 25 and square root of 50 squared, the square and the square root cancel. So you can see we're getting 50 is equal to 50. So that tells us that it satisfies the Pythagorean theorem, which means that this is going to be a right angle here. So in this case, we would say, yes, this is a, uh, an isosceles right triangle. Now, there's another way to do this problem. You could do the slope of MA and the slope of AR, and if they're opposite reciprocals of each other, that would tell you that this is a right angle. But in this case, we just use the Pythagorean theorem. So great job if you're able to follow this example. I'll see you over in some of my other videos.